Hi guys, I'm going to do kind of a combination demonstration video here talking all about Artsonia. Artsonia is the world's largest totally free online gallery of student artwork. And you can see, depending on your class, you will already have a um, account set up. These are all of the people, look, just alphabetical order by class, maybe you see your name. Let's look at people, let me find somebody. I don't have this person in art classes right now, but look, Art Sony is great because you can look back on your old artwork, whether it's been destroyed or lost or whatever. Um, I'm not sure why these images aren't coming up, but for Mason here, I haven't had Mason since he was in second grade, but look, all of these, all of these artworks are going to be, oh, like, of course that doesn't work for me. Let's, oh, here we go. Look, so this is artwork that Mason did when he was in, believe it or not. Oh, sorry. Don't know why that's working. But anyway, because I made these, it's not a different teacher. But anyway, so when Mason was in second grade, 10 years ago, look, he made this. And so you can look back and see your artwork. It's also great for reflecting upon work. So I'm going to show you how to create um, artwork on artsonia.com. It's an easy, easy thing to do um, using our iPad. Okay. So just give me one second here. We'll get to where I need to be. All right. All right. What you want to do is on our class iPad, it has this beautiful green, neon green um, case. You're going to go down to the, the power bar here. Okay. And you click this little paint explosion. All right. And it comes up artsonia.com. Okay. All right. I'm going to type my first name in. And I'm the only Brenda C here. Okay, I'm the only Brenda in the building because I'm old and that's okay, but whatever. Um, so, you know, you might have a more common name. You'll be able to figure out who is whom be, by um, the, the last initial. Or you could always ask and we'll look you up, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to this. You can see all of my artwork on there. I'm going to click Add Art up in the corner, okay? And you'll be able to pick a project here. Now, I only have a few because, you know, I'm not in any class. All right. And what I'm going to do is, da -da -da, I'm going to bend down here so you can see. Let's say I want to take a picture of my mug. I want to upload a picture of my mug. So can you just kind of shift your attention to the tiny little screen there? Okay. What I want to do, and this setup is in the back of the room, I want to make sure that I'm zoomed in and I have the very best possible possible angle on my mug. Ooh, that looks pretty good. I want to make sure I'm zoomed in. There's no fingertips in my in my way. Okay. Now let's say this is three dimensional. I might even go up a little bit and get some of the inside. Oh, that's a better shot. That shows more of the mug itself. Okay, I focus. And I click. Okay, let's go back to the screen. Okay, all right. What I'm going to do is now you can do all kind of editing here. Okay, move corners. You can crop. And you, you want to take a great picture because you only get one picture per upload. Now you can do a few different uploads for each piece of artwork, but you only get one. Okay, so I, I moved my I moved my corners. The glare is horrible. I'm sorry. Let's turn this off. That's probably even worse. You can't really see this. There's a little button up here. It says next. This is like your hot corner up here. All you're, you're going to do is you're always going to go up in this upper corner, okay? Let's zoom out a bit. So you can see down below, again, you can't see it here. This is really awful. What if I would do this? Okay, you can start to see there's a few menu options down here. I always like to do the magic wand, okay, to see if that helps. In this case, it didn't. Um... Where's my, I need to rotate this, so I'm going to turn that next. Okay, you go through and you, you um, 
edit this however you want. You can make things black and white. Let's see what happens here. Oh, don't like that. Let's go back. Let's do, um, I can hit that again and get my color back. And I'm going to click Submit. Okay. Now our title, I can type in my title, which is just going to be, it can be very, you know, meta, very <laughs> obvious, or you can um, type whatever you want in there. You can call your artwork Charlie Chan. I don't care. So blue mug, I type that in. I'm going to click enter. Done. I click submit in the upper corner. Can you see that where my thumb is? This is in and out. I'm so sorry about the quality of this. Artist statement. Now here's where you're going to write your reflection. See, it says artist statement. So sometimes I will have writing prompts here for you. Please do your very best um, grammar, punctuation, and spelling using a combination of high temp glazes. At the very least, you're going to um, at least say how you made it, okay? I created this mug using a small pebble or texture or whatever the, the prompts say here you can see what i just typed using combination of high temp glazes i created this mug using a small pebble for texture and that's good enough and i'm going to click up in the upper corner again i'm going to click submit okay and this says artwork summary I don't know why that says there. Okay, now that's submitted to me as a teacher. I'm going to click home. And what I will do is um, I will get all of these on Artsonia, and then um, I will approve them. The cool part about Artsonia, guys, is that your um, relatives far and wide, your friends, if they're part of your fan club, they can see all of the artwork that you've created um, through the years here, you know, and um, they can write nice things about what you're doing. They can, um, they could even buy stuff with your artwork on it, like t-shirts, like who wouldn't want a t-shirt of my mug on, you know what I mean? So it's good stuff. Okay, Art Sony, it's pretty self-explanatory. Anytime you want to add new art, you just click add art, okay? You take a really good picture, and then you, you go through the editing process. That's pretty much it. Um, I use Artsonia a lot because um, artwork goes in and out of the classroom. So even to see it and to give grades. So you always want to take a very, very good picture. Okay, guys, thank you so much. Have a great day. Bye.